Welcome back, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into the exciting face computer battle, featuring Meta's new or in augmented reality glasses. Imagine swapping your phone for glasses that can overlay digital content right onto your real-world vision. We'll explore how this could change our daily interactions with technology. Last week, Mark Zuckerberg presented Orion, a sleek augmented reality device weighing just 3.5 ounces. It's designed to bridge reality and the digital world effortlessly. Picture this, a wristband that reads muscle movements and a pocket-sized processor. This means you could engage with both digital information and your surroundings all at once. Here's where it gets interesting. Reports suggest that making each or Orion device costs about $10,000. That's a hefty price tag, and currently, there's no consumer release date. But think about it. A device that can potentially replace your smartphone? That kind of tech warrants attention. On the other hand, we have Apple's Vision Pro, which retails for $3,500. Sure, it's less expensive than an Orion, but still quite the investment. Apple has faced challenges post-launch, particularly with limited app availability, which isn't helping its case. Viewers are okay with spending money, but they want value. Now, let's compare. Meta's Orion and Apple's Vision Pro serve as powerful competitors. But while Orion's ultimate aim is to revolutionize AR, the Vision Pro seems to be focused on enhancing the user experience with existing content. It's clear that both companies aim to dominate the space, but they're targeting different markets. Can you imagine using Orion in a cafe, reading messages, and seeing your favorite social media feeds? The merging of the digital and physical worlds could redefine how we connect with technology. It's all about accessibility and usability. I mean, would you rather pull out your phone from your pocket or just glance at your glasses? Meanwhile, industry analysts like Mark Gurman suggest that Apple has reconsidered its approach to AR. Initially aiming for smart glasses in 2023, plans shifted towards creating a cheaper version of the Vision Pro after staff faced technical challenges. Apple may be pivoting, but curiosity from consumers remains high. Let's take a moment to appreciate design. Vision Pro features stunning visuals with OLED screens, providing immersive experiences that could leave users spellbound. However, its high price and some customer discomfort could deter casual adoption. We've heard that some users feel bulky headsets might just not be cool enough for public wear. And who can blame them? Feedback from early Vision Pro users has been mixed. While some rave about its immersive experience, others point out that Apple still has miles to go. Could these two devices eventually strike a balance between function and style? That's the golden question. The tech community is buzzing about these advancements. As users, your input matters. How would you feel about a future without smartphones as we know them? Both Meta and Apple are listening and eagerly developing future iterations of their technologies. With numerous headsets popping up, it's almost overwhelming to choose the right one. Just a quick poll. How many of you are ready to invest in a new tech device aimed at changing how we interact with the world? Your thoughts are important, so let's discuss in the comments below. Let's visualize this. Imagine walking around an office where everyone's using smart glasses, transitioning from one app to another seamlessly. This is where the integration of augmented reality into daily professional tasks could prove revolutionary. Both companies have great marketing strategies too. While Meta turns heads with sci-fi inspired ads for Orion, Apple perfectly showcases the sophistication of the Vision Pro. It's a battle of ideas and aesthetics, and they both have their unique selling points. Look at these sales projections for 2024. They indicate that Apple might sell about half a million units, but can they actually reach this goal with the current pricing and app limitations? This is frustrating for many potential customers seeking a more affordable option. So what does the future hold? The opportunity for innovation and competition means better products for users like you and me. We're all anxiously waiting to see how things unfold. Let's embrace the future of tech together. If you enjoyed this analysis and want to see better quality content, please subscribe and join our community. Your feedback is invaluable, and I'm focused on improving our quality further. Thanks for watching. I deeply appreciate your support, and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this face computer battle. Let's continue discussing this technology and exploring what it means for us. Until next time, take care.